Hi everyone, welcome to my Dark Souls 2 Scar of the Fish Sim playthrough. This should be part 22, and we're going to start off with a few things before we go back to hunting those cops. And, uh, I forgot about I forgot about reading half the shit I picked up. So, Skeleton Lord Sol, soul of a skeleton lord who reigned from deep within the Huntsman's Cops. The Old Iron King commanded the capture of all undead, but those charged with... The tasks were overcome by the curse. Use the special soul of the Skeleton Lord to acquire numerous souls or to create something of great worth. Belf Belfry Gargoyle Soul. Soul of a gargoyle of the Lost Bastille. The elaborate stone statues on the Belfry mysteriously came to life. Use the special soul of this living statue to acquire numerous souls or to create something of great worth. And then... Things. Token of Fidelity, which we'll be using. Token of Fidelity. Token recognizes that the owner has traveled worlds to help others. When in other worlds, it can also be used to restore the ma Master of the World's HP, but this is only a secondary effect of the item. Simply carrying these tokens shows the depth of the holder's fidelity. And then these two. Estus Flash Shard. The Shard of an Estus Flash shards are deeply soaked in Estus. Grab the shard to an Estus Flask to increase flask uses. Over the ages, countless souls rested their bones as they drank from the original flask. And now this shard remains, serving as a vestige of hope of their hopes and dreams. Sublime Bone Dust. Shard Ashen Bones. Cast them into the Far Fire Medulla to increase the HP restored with each use of your, your flask. They say these are the remains of a saint who cast himself into the bonfire, but we will never know for sure. For Suit and Ashes, tell no story. Thinking about it, I might have actually read these already. But I'm not sure, so I'm just going to double check. And we got to burn the Sublime Bone Dust. That is a dramatic improvement for our Estes, which is quite good. Now, next we will go back to Hate Tower Flame. So I do not believe we will be fighting the Executioner's Chariot today. We'll just be doing some side things. And then, and then we will fight the Executioner's Chariot probably next episode. Now, I already cleared out this area a while ago. Which you probably saw at some other point, because my memory is awful, and I'm almost entirely sure that I've already been in here since I cleared it out, but whatever. I cleared it out there. How about that? Basically, I reloaded. I remember I reloaded my save before I killed the Dragon Rider. So technically, this is a different. You've never technically seen the Dragon Rider fight on this save, but it's the same general thing. The Dragon Rider is kind of a pushover. But I guess the token fidelity we can use to give to the guy behind where the Dragon Slayer was in order to join the Blue Sentinels. I'm not sure what the ring does, if they even have a ring. But I'm pretty sure it's like the ones from DS3, where if someone wearing the way of, in the Way of Blue Covenant wearing the Way of Blue ring, or I guess in Dark Souls 3 it would be the, the Covenant item, but in this game it's a ring, sometimes the Blue Sentinel will be summoned in order to assist them. Which I know in Dark Souls 3 is kind of fucking annoying as hell for invaders. But I have no idea about this game. Or I guess it's called Night of Blue. No, it is Blue Sentinels. Most covenants are multiplayer focused, but obviously since we're offline it won't matter. I forget what he gives you, so some shitty weapons. Um, I'm, guess, I'm guessing that's just a generic damaging item. Some infinite bolt stones, and, and some vehicles, heavenly thunder. I remember this from Cinders, but I've never seen it in this game. I thought it was new. 
So I do not know what that does. But let's test out the... It's like a former battle. Or... A former... No, a formal bow. Sorry. And then we have the blue... The guardian seal. Guardian seal. Ring of the blue sentinel covenant. Join this covenant and wear this ring to be automatically summoned to the walls of blue apostles who have been invaded by dark spirits. The ring is engraved with the crest of the way of blue, symbolizing the dignified oath to protect each other's master from the dark spirits. I does not seem to do anything special, so I'm not going to be using it. So I want to check something real quick before we go on. So Max is 1084. And then the new Max is 1062. I just wanted to make sure I was wearing the right HP boosting ring, because if you didn't know the blue seal does actually increase boost your maximum HP like the life ring does, it's just not as good. But it has a secondary effect of also making it so if you get invaded and you're online, there's a chance that a blue sentinel will be summoned to your world. I appreciate it's all we have to do really off to the side, but there is a crystal lizard I forgot. In the Huntsman's Cops last time. So we're going to be grabbing that. And depending on the flask amount, which we sh should be at mass, max, we'll also summon Creighton at the start of the next episode. Or I guess he's a uh, phantom, so we don't have to worry about him dying or going away. We'll see. Basically, I'm summoning him because the Executioner's Terror is going to be annoying, and especially because of the, all, all the bullshit enemies that are on the way there, so I don't really want to risk that. It's, they're not very fair, to be completely honest. And if I do forget any items or gestures, let me know, please. Because even though I guess I'm not doing 100%, I, I do like reading them. Because I want, I want to understand the lore more. So I understand the lore of Dark Souls 1 and 3 pretty well. I never really read any of their item descriptions. So I don't, I don't know the more subtle stuff. I would like to. Even if it's just starting with this game. I'd rather get, I'd like to get in the habit of that. Especially for whenever Elden Ring comes out. supposed to be a crystal lizard here. I'm pretty sure you reset them by resting at bonfires. So, I don't know. Maybe I accidentally killed it and never picked up the items. I don't see me doing that, though. And if any of you figure out why it's not there, it's supposed to be right next to that summon sign. Let me know, please. I like how some of these T posts whenever they die. That's pretty funny. Because it's not like Dark Souls 1 where you can just reset, like, quit out and go back in, and it'll be there. It's not like that. But I will summon Creighton here, and we will head off to our way, head off on our way towards the, towards the, uh, Towards Executor's Chariot, sorry. I was having a little brain fart there. Fuck you. I'm glad you can at least break the jars to stop them. Alright, you don't want to go this way. Tipos. So we gotta head back down. The only reason I came from that bonfire is because of Creighton. Right. Ah, 
And why aren't you doing anything? You're going to be annoying, aren't you? So basically, we just have to make our way down. What the fuck is Crane? Crane, would you attack, please? He is really fucking passive for some reason. Whatever. Oh, and he's gonna chase him. Okay. Yeah, you stay with me because these upcoming enemies are gonna be fucking awful. Also, I think I went the wrong way. I think I have to cross the bridge and then back right and cross that bridge. God, what the fuck is Creighton doing? Yeah, could you hurry up, please? The AI in this game is weird. Jeez. Yeah, these are... Oh, no, these aren't it. And also, I think I accidentally said the sickle ones up here are annoying. It's the whip ones, so ignore that, because... I'm pretty sure whip damage goes through shields, or at least partially. And there's a fuck ton of them, and they hit hard, and they hit fast. And they're tanky, I'm pretty sure. And by tanky, I mean they can take, like, more than one hit from me. Which is pretty fucking tanky. Maybe it's these, I don't know. Jeez, you're no help right now. This is where it becomes a fucking pain in the ass. Okay, so it's those. See all them up there? I guess it's just because there's a fuck ton of them. Okay, at least he popped out on his own. And apparently they can't be stunned. At least not effectively. No, Creighton, don't go too far. Okay, there is a whip one, okay. And he does no damage. Like, seriously, 34 and he has an axe? Really? Pretty sure more dropped down. I know this one guy. I know this guy does. Come on, dude. I know you dropped down anyways. Pretty sure he's... The pretty sure he's gonna drop down once we went past him. Also, I forget how you get up there. I know you can because it's an item, but I forget. I might look it up, but it's not. There's a... a and it, the invaders in this game are fucking weird. I'm just going to call any f character that has like a red glow around them, like a red phantom, an invader. Because that's what this guy is. See what I mean? He, he didn't, It didn't say there was an invader, but he has a color. Also, how did that miss? And we have some more jumping, because we all love jumping in this fucking game, don't we?
So I'm pretty sure I don't have to go that way. So I'm going to send Creighton home because I'm not going to use him for the loss. Because I don't really want to. Bye bye. Sorry, bud, but you don't do like any damage and you're too much of a risk. With this fucking boss. Or any boss, really. And be careful when it comes to this shit. I've died here a few times. And dying to fall damage is never fun in these games. Because it isn't really like a... It isn't really saying that you fucked up. It was more of the game's shit-ass parkour system fucked up. But this leads to the Executioner's Chariot. I'm going to back up my safe in case I die. Because, frankly, that run back is... Execution and chariot time. Excuse me. So the goal of this fight, at least before you actually can fight the Excuse your chariot is to deal with these uh, witches, which will prevent the skeletons from respawning. There are two of them, I believe. And your goal is to deal with them in order to prevent the skeletons from killing you. Uh, shit. Okay. And then after that, you close a gate up here, which will cause the chariot to stop. Okay, I don't know how that hit me, but... Probably should've healed first, I should've... Fuck! I should've healed first. Okay, that was 100% my fault. I'm still not making that run back, though. But regardless, that's the end of this episode. Thank you all for watching. I will reload my save, and... We'll start back here at the next episode. So, so yeah. Hope you had a... Hope you... Okay. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day. And stay safe.